Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Love and Hip Hop New York Season 8, Episode 14. Let's jump on into it, shall we? And so, we start off with Remy Ma. I think we start off with Sutton, yes, but I'm talking about the only stuff I care about. So, Remy Ma, Remy Ma and this Mariah Lynn conversation, like, Remy, love you. Love you down dearly. I don't like this conversation, how you trying to bring Mariah Lynn down in all seriousness, though. Um... Again, wrong person to be saying is Mariah Lynn changing. She's trying to learn just like you had to learn when it came to you doing your jail time and now you on probation and now you learning. Now you got you a record like a record deal now. Mariah Lynn is um is learning now. She finally got it. You can tell that this trip and she was able to talk the thing that was Bree. Yeah, she talked to Bree. She said, man, you going through the same thing about our mothers, their addiction and all that. For her to do that, you can tell Mariah Lynn is changing. So, Remy Ma, why you don't trust Mariah Lynn? Who can say we can trust you? We ain't going to talk about your crimes for you trying for the better, though. But give Mariah Lynn a chance. Go ahead and give Mariah a little bit of shine from your cloud. And go ahead and give her a little bit of shine with, with, with you just being on a record of hers or put on a record of yours or however, whoever going on who song. Just go ahead and help the girl out. The girl ain't asking for much on Remy. All she asking for is a chance like it, like you asking us to give you a chance. Now that you out of jail, now that you're doing music, you want the chance. Mariah Lynn deserve another chance too. So, and the one you should be having this talk with is Bianca. And this one man unity thing. Bianca the one right here running around here acting crazy. Right here fighting girls if you sneeze the wrong way out of. Mariah Lynn basically been decent this, this season. She might have gotten what? Three fights I think out of the whole season. So Mariah Lynn is doing good. So I don't understand why you coming at Mariah Lynn like this. You need to be talking to Bianca like this. And maybe she'll get her second chance to, to change her life around. Cayenne and Brittany. At this point, Cayenne only known you a couple of episodes now. And basically, every girl you meet, you got beat with. First, it was Bianca. She trying to steal your style. She trying to steal your look. She trying to steal your fashion. She trying to sound like you, be you, and all this. Now we got Cayenne. You said the same thing about Cayenne. And I think I remember you saying this about somebody else, too. Now, correct me as I'm wrong. Brittany, I don't know you. Just like you said, who is the Cayenne and who got her pregnant? Now, who the hell is you? And I still ain't never heard. I ain't haven't heard for you. Hell, we even heard some songs from you on the episode of seeing you um, recording a song or whatnot in the studio. So, the same as you can say about Cayenne, the same we can say about you. And it so amazes me that every time you meet a new girl and you got beef, this you trying to be like me i'm you you still in my style you still in my look you still in my brand you still who are you princess diana god bless the dead but who are you princess diana you is not that damn popular, um, Brittany, Brianna, whatever the hell yo, Brittany, for somebody to be trying to steal your style. Every time you got a beef with somebody, they're trying to steal your look, trying to steal your style, trying to steal your brand, trying to sound like you. Is that all you got to say, tape recorder? Because now you just becoming a one-trick pony, and like every girl they meet you, you square up and down there trying to be you. Hell, we knew Bianca more than we know about you. Call what this her third season on the show. So at least we do know Bianca. We don't know you Mona just you just threw Mona just threw her on um threw your ass on us. So um even if Bianca was trying to steal your style or doing it better than you or you was a starter up and she somehow jacked your style away from you. Now you don't want to do the style or whatever though, but 
not every girl is trying to be like you, sweetheart. And I'm sorry if that's hard for you to take, but not every girl that want to fight you or stomp your face in the ground want to steal your style, steal your brand, sound like you, nor talk like you. So I'm not understanding that, though. But the long story short with Cayenne... We know she got anger issues. We know poor thing can't help herself. She said she's trying to change. I'm inclined to, be to believe her, but Cayenne, I think you a little crazy. Uh, you got to be a little nutty in the head or something. How you snapped and um, when you said that about Brittany and um, told her to square on her mama and she talking about, you talking about some where she dead. You might well kiss her and hug her goodbye cause she gonna die. And when, um, Brittany lift that table up to, um, to get to you, when security escorted you out all that hollering and screaming you was doing, then you run to the beach, to the water. What the fuck that supposed to do? Come hit, come hit, um, Brittany in the head or something. Like, is you a little cuckoo, um, Cayenne? Now, I like you. You a little crazy, but I think you're crazy to go towards the nut side, not the crazy, I like you kind of side. And the argument between Brittany, it, it's just ridiculous. It, it, it boils down to some petty Instagram bullshit, basically, about you said this, Brittany, who is Cayenne, who she pregnant from, who she doing this, and yeah, y'all will. I must say, Cayenne tried to talk to the girl. Brittany didn't want to admit to nothing, but yet you got this girl on social media writing notes about her on social media on Instagram live talking about some who is Cayenne. That's all I want to know. So you didn't say that girl name. You know who she is, so you can't say who is she and where did she come from, so you can't say that. And I can see why I try to get a dig back at your ass to make your ass, I guess, get crazy if I can knock your ass out. I guess that's what Kanye was trying to go for. I'm going to get her right out door. I'm going to try to make her get bad, try to come for me. Then when she do come near me, I'm just going to knock her ass out with one or two punches. I guess that's what you was trying to do at that dinner table, but it backfired on you and somehow Britney got the incredible heart stuck in her body and lift the table up. That look that table did look kind of heavy though. It did kind of look kind of heavy though, but Britney I ain't know you had the incredible hawk in you. Way was her when um Bianca threw that shoe at you. Now if you can be a big grown ass lady and pick up tables like that, I'ma need for you to pick up a table when it came to Bianca throwing that shoe and hitting you in your chest. Or was it chest or face? I forgot where it hit you at though, but I think that scene was all either edited it even even edited it beautiful or that table must have weighed maybe not too much, but we seen you get more interaction out of this. We barely saw you got crunk with Bianca in the club when she threw that shoe at your ass. When um I think you and Mariah Lynn got into it and y'all was about to fight. Mariah Lynn was the aggressor. You was hiding behind security talking shit, so this the baddest we going to see you when it comes about your grandmother, even though she raised you. In, so this the baddest we going to see you when it comes to your... So somebody basically got to talk about your grandmama to get you riled up, basically. Because other than that, you're not going to fight, or you're going to pretend like you're not going to fight, because this the most aggressive I ever seen you when it came to a fight, even with them on um, before they went to St. Martin. You was high my high security talking shit. You didn't jump bad then. You didn't jump bad with Bianca when Bianca throw that shoe at you. You sat there and talked your shit. When it came to this fight, it was different. Like you found your inner hawk in you and somehow lift up the damn table like you was a muscle woman or something. So, so long story short, I see why Cayenne kind of got mad. Cause I see you playing around with me. I ain't got time for the games. I'm trying to be cordial. I'm trying to be nice. Trying to tell you how I feel. You talking about some you don't know me. I'm trying to introduce myself to you. I'm here with my boyfriend trying to enjoy this trip. Trying to, I guess, help out with you and them too. And then here you come and 
I can understand it, though, but she did apologize, though, and Mariah Lynn told her she was wrong, which she was wrong, even though she wanted a reaction out of um, Britney. I can understand why she did it, but it was wrong, but I can understand why you did it, though. And then they get to talking. They made up. Gee, that made up it happened really quick, didn't it? It happened quick and ended quick. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get Cayenne and Jaquan out of my... Let's go ahead and get them on out the way. Um, They got back the Creek Squad. Nope. Let's go ahead and go back to... I don't know how I want to do I don't know if I want to go back to St. Martin or go back to New York. Let's go back to... Let's get to St. Martin. I think we'll go back to New York. So, um... Mariah Lynn and, um... I forgot the girl. Brittany, they did make up. Um, before, um, Mariah Lynn came out there, it was NIE first, talking about she don't feel welcome, she went and wanted to have fun, you can't best to tell her what to do, um, and she a grown woman, Yanda said this trip was not for vacation, it was for the help out the kids, why you keep on bringing up the kids for, Jonathan? I still want to kick you in your head for bringing NIEs on this trip. She could have stayed in New York with her husband. Because she didn't, she, what? She gave out maybe one or two baths for the children at school. That's about all she did. That health ain't really helped as much as the other ones helped. Well, we only seen them do that. We ain't seen them do much more in, in um St. Martin. So that's about all we seen them. They was at the school handing out the bags or whatever. That's about all we seen them do So. And I is getting drunk, having fun, showing people her kitty song. Jonathan, I don't know why you so surprised that NIE is all about herself and stuck on herself. I don't know why you so surprised or shocked about this. Yandy, I wouldn't have gave her the time, or the day, or the energy. She felt done welcome good. That would be good. You, maybe you should do better. Maybe you should do what you're supposed to do on this trip, like actually help, actually lend a helping hand, not rock around help naked, smoking hookah, hookah, showing your kid the means that you want to fuck and all that. Maybe you should do something. Talking about that she felt like she wasn't welcome here. Hell, Jonathan threw you on this trip, so you wasn't invited. Good. Um, Mariah Lynn and Brittany, they made up, they talked, find out they got more than coming than we know. The, um... They mamas both going through addictions, I think she said. They both struggling with it. Um, they found the common ground. Mariah Lynn said, me and you going through the same thing with our mothers. Your mama clean, my mama clean too. She took offense at this and started yelling and crying and Yen and them calmed her down and say, listen, listen to what she got to say. She talking about your mother. It's a good thing. So after that, they calmed her down. She ain't much cried no tears, did she? Because I ain't seen none. Unless I must have rolled my eyes or something. I ain't seen no tears come out her eyes, though. But okay. So they, she apologized. Um, Mariah Lynn accepted her apology. She said, I ain't got no more beach with you. I'm trying to change. We can be cool as far as so right now. We cool. We ain't got nothing in common. So, they made up. Here come NIEs. Then found out Jaquay and NIEs because of the Cayenne and Britney fight. They end up partying and smoking hookah, hookah the whole night. They was laid up in the bed. They say nothing happened, but you know how NIE feels. She'll throw her kid at him, at a dog, a cat, a mouse, a rat, a car, a old man, a bomb, a bicycle, a tricycle, a motorcycle. She'll throw it at anything that I guess got an inch into it or I can hit her right, so they say she ain't do nothing, so he ran with that, and um, ran with that, and kept rolling with that, I wanted to believe that you didn't do anything, Cayenne, but I mean, Jaquay, 
But we know NIEs. We know she like to throw her stuff at men, any man. Hell, she throw it at you a couple of times. When when she walked past you, she ah, ah, was uh, backing up on you, tooting it up at you. Remember when she was flirting at you in the club that day? Yeah, we got into the scenes of you were flirt when she was flirting with you. So you mean to tell us that y'all didn't do nothing? To find out she did actually do something while you was talking to the Creek Squad. You left this detail out, but you want to go tell, um, oh wait, the Creek Squad time. So the Creek Squad and Snoop and Safari, they talking, they talking about the trip. They talking about what happened on the trip. Safari being his messy normal self, bring up, um, and I easy him and Andy's had a night together. We saw Rich got up like he was gonna bust a damn grapes with his diabetic ass. He didn't bust a grape. Basically, he was hugging him, telling him congratulations, cause he taught him well. He taught him well. And he told him, I'm done with NIE, so if you want NIE, you can have her. He best with him and her all, but I guess that was the official. Creek Squad, I give you a hug. That means you can have a now take off my problem because I take off my hand because I don't want her anymore. I guess that's what we was doing now. The annual shake, hug, see your problem now, not none of mine. So he kept on going with this. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. Somebody mentioned Cayenne and said you need to tell her about that night. I forgot who it was. I think it was Safari. No, it was DJ Self. So he's still running with his. We ain't do nothing. We just smoked hookah and laid in the bed. That's all we did. We party, had fun, laid in the bed. That find out he um Miss Luddy actually showed him her kitty. And you gonna tell me you ain't look or touch. Or lick the suck. You gonna tell us this, Jacqueline? Are we supposed to believe that you didn't do none of those. You didn't play that night. You was a good boy with crazy kind. Well, I'm kind of well. She was still mad about even though she showed it to you or whatnot. And you shouldn't have left that part out. But I understand why you told her about it and why she freaked out. Why your friends, the Creek Squad, the little young kids running around the damn park. Running around hiding, being nosy, listening to the whole damn conversation like this some damn comedy hour or playground. That scene was ridiculous. Serious? Rich, I understand you need to, you need to air the sounds, guys. You got diabetes. I ain't talk about you and your diabetic, your um diabetes, and you had a episode. We skipped over that because I don't want to hear about your damn diabetes. John Quay, I'm glad you ran behind um Cayenne because you need some exercise too. Snoop, I don't know about you though, but you can look like you can run. Oh, DJ Self, you should have ran harder. But that whole scene and he telling her and they sneaking in Safari, can we call 911 to Central Park? And he running behind her. He really care for her. He love her. He running behind other fools, but his fools that he got, um, well, Safari had them working out in the park, and everywhere they ran off to, here they come running behind too. Then she didn't realize this to the rich exposed the whole damn thing because his big ass couldn't hide long enough or couldn't hide well enough, so she ended up seeing him, which got him in more trouble. So I didn't understand it. I really didn't because it was ridiculous. I mean, you could have let us know ahead of time, but you said you didn't do nothing. When you said you didn't do nothing and nothing happened, that's something happened and she showed you the kitty, meaning she wanted you to play with the kitty, get a kitty a bath or something. So you actually did do something even though you was in the room. She might have showed it to you, good thing you didn't touch, cause you probably you and NIS probably be dead right here dealing with Hurricane Um Cayenne. So I'm kinda glad you didn't touch it or none of that on the above what you do with it. So 
Anyway, so y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about the night episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.